Have you ever wondered how you can be a ham radio operator and live in an HOA where they don't allow antennas? Or maybe you're traveling on business and don't want to lug around a bunch of equipment. Well, I just might have the answers you're looking for on this edition of Green Eggs and Ham. I started getting into digital radio with D-Star. It's an ICOM sort of proprietary, sort of open source digital mode of communication. It allows voice and digital data. That was great. We had a wide coverage repeater up in the Chicagoland area. In fact, it's still there. A shout out to the North Shore Radio Club. But then other digital modes started popping up, such as Moto Turbo, DMR, Yesu System Fusion, and others. Well, the digital radio collection started to expand, and here we are. We've moved to Florida, and four years later, there's one larger coverage D-Star system out there, a few DMR systems, but largely here in the neighborhood, they don't have very good coverage. So what's a guy to do? Well, I bought a DV4 mini hotspot, and unfortunately that didn't really do the trick. It was kind of buggy, and I just eventually got fed up and said enough was enough. So here we are. I've ordered a zoom spot kit from Ham Radio Outlet. It is comprised of a zoom spot digital radio board and a Raspberry Pi Zero. So we're going to build this today and see just how difficult it is to get together. We'll also do an unboxing. You get the zoom spot Raspberry Pi kit. And if we open that box, you'll see two anti-static bags and a box of, looks like screws and standoffs. So this first anti-static bag is the zoom spot. And as you can see here, there's an SMA antenna on that. There's also, the, again, this part, this bag of parts. We'll take a look at the second anti-static bag, and that is the Raspberry Pi. And technology is a wonderful thing. This is a microcomputer, or a mini computer, depending on what you want to call it, that has everything you need to get started, an HDMI port for video, as well as mini USB for power, as well as keyboard. This thing's got built-in wireless, and as you can see right here, where my thumb is, it's got the SD card already loaded and ready to go. So, that's what comes in the part. All right, let's clear the area here. And take a look at what's involved with this case. And does come with instructions. And actually this instruction card has a certificate of guarantee, satisfaction guarantee, as well as step-by-step -step instructions on how to actually create the kit or build the kit. It also gives you URLs. It also gives you URLs for their presence on Facebook, Instagram, and other social media outlets. 
So that's good. So if we take a look at the instructions, the first thing it says is peel paper off of each part. Optionally wet that paper with warm water to make it easier to peel. Remove the micro SD card from the Pi Zero before assembly. Actually, it says that twice, so it must be important. Place the screws to the rubber feet and assemble bottom up as shown on the back of the card. And the zoom spot and everything gets put together. So it actually looks quite complicated. But we're going to give it a try here. So it looks like you build the case around the Raspberry Pi and everything else. So you'll also need some tools. All right, so let's take the rubber band off of the pieces. And keep everything in the order in which it looks like it is supposed to go. You're just gonna take it and push it into your sponge. Get that paper really wet. and then just find a corner that works for you. And then just start peeling, just like this. See, so I'm just putting my fingernail on the corner and just drawing it in. That's too funny. Try to get some of that out. I'm just using my fingernails on this. You could probably use some tweezers, but there it is. So now we can just start sandwiching things in between. We'll take four little feet. I'm not liking the fact that I'm seeing bits of plastic here, but. So just run your screws through those feet. You'll know you have it the right way when you the screw head will fit inside of that foot so it doesn't scratch furniture or whatever you put it on. Now for the Raspberry Pi. It does say to pull the SD card out, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. And you'll wanna align the Raspberry Pi so that the ports are in the detents of the case here. So I'm following this card. This card was in the box or in the uh, case. So that's what I'm following, trying to follow it anyway. the 
plastic piece is reversed, you'll want to put the clear plastic in there and then make sure that the that this holds in place. Then you'll want the black plastic above that. And now you can see that the Raspberry Pi itself, at the risk of losing my feet, and I did. <laughs> but you can see that the Raspberry Pi itself is now encased. The key is to keep the feet on the desk as you build. Don't pick it up. I just did this to show you what happens here. So if you do pick it up, you've got to make sure that you keep the legs in there. Or the feet, sorry. Doesn't really matter what you call them as long as they're in, right? Okay, so the Raspberry Pi itself is enclosed now. We're just going to keep building the layers. Now for the zoom spot. So that's what the radio board looks like and we're just going to push it onto this header pin. This is going to be a challenge because you can't really see to line it up and you're sandwiching everything together. So that is lined up and together. You can see how everything is just a sandwich. not sure what that little plastic piece was there but <laughs> here we go more paper And I'm not showing this on a video, but you can see I'm wiping things off with a piece of paper towel. And now for the cover. And I just almost dropped it on the floor. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull this guy out. I have everything sandwiched together. It's not going anywhere. I'm going to drop this in the hole. And yeah, something's not lined. Oh, there we go. I didn't have something quite lined up. So there we go. I've got it in the hole now. I'm going to put my finger over it. 
try to keep everything lined up. Put that in the hole. And I've lost my alignment. I'm not going to tighten it all the way because I still need some, some slack and some give because I've lost a little bit of my alignment. But now we're going to do this on the diagonal hole right here. Move things around slightly till it pops into place just like that. We'll do the same verse Second verse, same as the first. Make sure we get everything aligned. I can feel it start. Keep in mind again, I don't have every, every uh, I don't have this all tightened down because I really want to make sure I can get some stuff that's level here, or not level, but aligned. There's going to be a little give and play. See, like that's not quite there, and it fell out of the hole. That's what happens when you don't keep your fingers on the pulse there, huh? Try that again, shall we? Keep in mind, I have not read any real instructions other than the card to put this guy together. There it is, it's all together. The SD card has been replaced and we're ready to apply power. You'll need a micro USB power supply for this guy. And uh, you'll probably want maybe a two amp supply. Uh, the only thing left now is to put on the the antenna and that's right here there it is well this video is getting a bit too long so we're going to split it out into two videos Next time on Green Eggs and Ham, we'll go to the computer and do the configuration of the Pi Star system. Join us. Until next time, be safe and be well.